Hey everybody, uh, I've decided to complete this example and then show you how to edit records, okay, of the, uh, from the core data, all right? So the way it's going to work, we have uh, in the table view right now, when you, let me just show you how it's going to work and I'll explain the, the, the code for you. So right now, before, you just list these and then when you click on the plus, you'll be able to add a record, right? Now, what I'm going to do here, like let's say I want to edit this record. So what you could do is that for now, for example, you can click on this. Now it shows you the detail, it shows you the location of that store, where it is, and you can edit it. For example, you can add anything here. Um, ff, anything here, and then save it. And when we go back, you sh that record, is saved okay so th this is what what this example is going to show you all right so the first thing you need to do if we go back to the if you go to the main story of, uh, main story board you need to create a segue from the cell itself so you right click and drag to here and then you select Selection segue, not the accessory. Selection Se selection is this uh, the accessory? Is this if you click on this part right here? Okay, and uh, this selection segue allow you. We're gonna give it a name. Okay, and this is I already done that. The name of this segue is called identifier is called edit store. All right, this is important. So when you click on this, it takes me to the next, next view controller and we give it a name, which is called Edit Store. All right, so that's the first step. Now let's take a look at the code. I've done the coding because it's going to take a while to write all of that. So I, what I decided is that I'm going to show you the code and I'll take my time explaining it for you. The first thing we need to do, you go to the view controller. This is your view controller and before, if you start from the top, we need to define two flags. One of them, or two two variables. One of them is called. You don't need. You can do it. Do it in one. But this is just to show you how it, another way of doing it. We have a variable called edit flag, and it's a boolean, and I set it to false. And then we have a variable, a store of type store. Now. The reason I did that, you, it's an optional variable because this might be null or not, depending on whether I want to edit it or I want to create a new one. Okay, so that's the first step you do in this view controller. Okay, the next thing we need to do in the view did load, I need to check. Um, I, I added this if statement, all of this code I added, so you can add it to yourself too, from here to here. What does this, what does this code do? We check first. Do I have, am I editing or not? If the edit flag is true, that means I am in the edit mode. What do I do? I take the variables from the store property that I define up here, store property, and set the text fields and the image on the screen, just like I did the search earlier, okay? Then I, all of this code to add the pin, to the store, to the map. So I, because I stored them when we created it, I stored, uh, stored them as string, I need to convert the string into double. Now, you, if you stored it as double, you don't have to do this part. So we convert the string into double, the latitude, the store latitude into double and assign it to, la to this latitude variable. Same thing with the longitude. I create a code, co 2D coordinate using the latitude and longitude of the, from the store. Then I do what? I assign the, uh, I guess I don't need that part because it's already done in the above here. Uh, I've done it here, so no need for this part here. So I'll, I'll delete this part. Uh, then I make an annotation. Then I assign the annotation to the, co I assign the coordinate of the annotation to the coordinate that I've created at the title. Now, I could, instead of using the store, I can just use the store name here, which is store. Explanation mark, because it's an optional variable, and, and use the store name, okay? 
and then for for the subtitle I can use the store description store description all right and then I add it to the map so that is the first part this is what you have to do when the uh, the view, uh, and the view did load method all right one more thing that we need to do in the save action because the save now can work in both ways you can create a new one or you update an existing one the nice thing about core data so if I'm gonna here's the save record the nice thing about core data once you create a managed object um, a managed object that managed object is actually already uh, have the core data elements in it so when you actually save it you're saving it directly into the core data so you don't need to create another entity and all of that it knows that it is a managed object context when you save the context it's a uh, uh, it knows it's a it's a managed object so when you save the context it's actually saved the record with it all right so what do we have here in the save record and now I check you could have checked the, uh, this is one way to do it if the store is nil that means it's a new one or you could have used if edit flag equal false then you create this object right because we want to we want to only to create this object when it's a new one but if we're coming in an edit mode we don't do this part okay so if it is equal to nil or you can say if edit flag equal false we create, get the, uh, the entity description, we create the object, we set the attribute. This is similar to exactly the same, except because it's optional, we put the explanation mark. And then we save the managed object context. Okay, and we save the, man we save, we, uh, we get the, the image data here, and then we set everything to blank. And then what do we do? We hide the keyboard and we save the object. Now, what you could do after this if you want to you can say navigation controller self dot navigation controller you can do pop view controller okay and then you can say true what that does it takes you to the previous screen as if like you're hitting back all right so if you click on it and i'll show you how how it is done now So if I click on this, if I click on save, it says record save and okay, and that's because of that alert view controller, because of that alert saying that it's being saved. Okay. All right, let's try that. And if we click on save, that it should take me to the previous screen. All right, because what happens is that that alert if you control the, the alert message is still there, and then you say you you're saying that I want to get out of that screen. Well, well, that does not that wouldn't happen because you have to dismiss the first view controller, the alert view controller from your screen. Okay. All right, so that is it in this view controller. So what we've done, we added the these two variables on top. Change the view did load and change the save method. Now let's go to the table view controller. In the table view controller, one functions that you have to do, which is the prepare for segue. That that is usually commented out, uncommented, and then here's what you'll do in the prepare segue. You check if it is the editor. If I actually because I have two ways to go to that view controller, either the plus or the uh, uh, edit okay by clicking on it so now in the edit what you have to what you do is if it's an edit store we get the object we get the destination of view controller what i'm going to i first i get the index pass sorry and then i get the object where i'm going to and i get the uh what uh, which record is being selected because I have table view, I need to get which of the records being selected. This is that one here. And then what I, um, I get the row from the index path. Then I do what we say, 
let edit flag equal true in the destination view controller. You see that? This is, these are these two variables in the destination view controller, which is that view controller. So I edit the flag, set the flag to equal to true, and then I set the store in that destination view controller to the store from the array. That's all you have to do, okay? And that should complete your example. The only thing that is left, maybe you can zoom to the location and I leave you to do that yourself, okay? So we're done with this example.